Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is a shocking story as Mama Mboga carries 6 million cash and takes them to Pastor Ezekiel for help as Mama Mboga was totally confused and the story that he is narrating it is something that is confusing. But as I was just watching the video thoroughly, I never understood what the Mama Mboga was saying. I decided to bring it on board so that at least you can watch it, you can give your judgment, you can even understand the story of Mama Mboga. But again, when you look at the Mama Mboga story, is that his, or rather her son, is doing these Uber jobs. So, this son of us, there's a kind of story that I don't understand totally. Why they got 6 million Kenya shillings? Because she's saying that it was. 10 million Kenya shillings, but well, it was in dollar. So they went to change, and when they were changing this money, her son was there, together with those she's claiming that they are CID. So she's telling us that our CID ni marafiki wa kijana wake, na uyu kijana yake, Anafanya kazi ya taxi. The question is, I pesa ilitoka wapi? That is what I don't understand. Ata nikiangalia nikiwochi video kindly, I don't understand. I pesa inatoka wapi? Na the reason why anapewa na kijana yake, anaendelea na safari na hawa ingine masiaidi marafiki zake. Is there something cooking here which we don't understand? Nani nini ilifanya atoke all the way from Nairobi to Mombasa just kupeleka pesa kwa kanisa ya Pastor Ezekiel and not to go and report to the nearest police station. So I want you to understand the kind of confusing story Then after that, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to request you the humble give your opinion at the comment section below because I also want to understand the story. I don't understand. So watch the video, but before we watch that video, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video for the first, uh, watching this video and you have not liked this video, please like this video, comment and share this video. If you're watching this channel for the first time, consider subscribing to this channel. Let us watch whatever happened at Pastor Ezekiel's charge in Mombasa. Mungu mimi ni seme nini? Mimi sijui ni lia, sijui ni fanye nini hata sijui ni seme nini. Pastor mimi niletoa pesa dola za kutoka nje za nje. Na zilikuwa kwa gari ya kijana yangu. Kama mimi nauza mboga nilitoka hivi vile nilikuwa nauza mboga. Mwishoe Saidi akakuja na huyu mtoto ni marafiki hawa watoto. Wakafanya nini wakaleta pesa? Nani? Masha ID. Rafiki ya huyo kijana yangu. Si ID. Eh. Hey. Wakaenda kwa bangu wakabadilisha pesa. Wakabadilisha milioni kumi. Kumaliza kubadilisha milioni kumi. Wakakuja mahali na usia mboga. Wakaniambia maade. Si tumekuachia hii milioni sita. Ah, wakaenda na huyo kijana yangu. Sasa nikasema mimi sita ingisa pesa hii kwa nyumba. Nikuwa na usa bama. Mimi nikaanja tumwendo na hiyo pesa na gunia nyewe walinipatia mpaka hapa kwako. Ukafanya nini? Nikaweka pesa kwa gunia mpaka hapa. Nikasema sita tumia kabla sija fika kwa pastor Sekiel sijuni ya ukweli sijuni ya uongo sijuni ya wameua mtu mimi sijui. Ndoka niambia ati amepelekwa kwa shahid huko mlimani. Nani? Huyo kijana wangu anaitwa Ronaldo Okelo. Alipelekwa huko kwa nini? Sasa hapo ndio sijui. 
Pesa ziko wapi? Pesa ndio hizi. Sasa mimi sijui. Sasa sijui kama walitoa hiyo pesa wanipe dio sanduku. Wakaenda na mtoto wangu. Walitoa wapi? Eh? Walitoa hii pesa ilikuwa ndani ya Nafanya kazi ya Uber. Kazi ya Uber. Na ilikuwa ni madola kutoka Amerika. Eh. Sasa hawa mashahidi wakakuja kwangu ni rafiki ya kijana yangu. Wakaenda wakabadilisha pesa. Wakaniletea pesa. Mimi nimekaa hivi kwa soko. Sina chochote nyenye nilikuwa nauza nilikuwa nimekaa hivi. Nikasema mimi sitaingia na hii pesa kwangu. Mi wacha tu mwisho ni kwangu kwa madhibao ya Mwenyezi Mungu. Mwambasa ndio mwisho. Na ndio hizi. wamenipatia ndiyo ikuwe mchango ya mtoto yangu vile wameenda na yeye mimi sijui kwa hivyo wamekupa hii ni moja nyingine iko wapi siajiwa ameenda na mtoto na ameacha pesa Walienda na yeye lini? Walienda na yeye siku. Mwisho ni hapa. Walienda na yeye siku gani? Jana usiku na mimi nikapanda tu gari usiku hiyo siku moja. Na ni kweli wamekuachia pesa? Wengine macho yao yameanza kubadilika. milioni sita hiyo na hao wengine wakaenda na zao mapolisi wakaenda na zingine wameenda na hizo ine wameenda na hizo ine na zingine zika pamoja na za za Tanzania Niwaachia hii pesa ndi waniliwaniambia mtoto wangu wameua wako pale nipeleke nyumbani mimi siku. Na wakati wanaenda na mtoto wako walikuambia? Kwa kuniambia walikuwa na yeye kwa gari hata hiyo gari ya shahidi ndio ilinibeba. Ndio ilikubeba. Ilinibeba ikaniwaacha bama mali na usia. Ili kutoa wapi hiyo gari ya shahidi? Ilinitoa pale Njogoro ditu hapo. Ikakuchukua ikakuwa. Hao wenyewe ndio waliniita kuja uchukue hizi pesa. Hao wenyewe ndio wameniita. Na wao mwenyewe ndio walinipatia hii pesa. Nikifika saa nikaambia watoto wangu mimi siendi kwa nyumba. Mimi mwisho wangu ni kwa madhibao ya Pastor Seki. Ni marafiki za kijana Jana yangu. Hao masiaidi. Eh. Wewe unawajua? Eh. Unajua pale wanafanya kazi? Mmoja anafanya buruburu. Buruburu. Eh. Huwa wanatembeleanga na Wanatembeleana hata ugali na pigano kwa nyumba wanakula. Hao sasa ndio walienda kubadilisha hizi pesa ndio wakanigawa hizi wakaniwekea kwa hii pepa baki wakaniambia madhe utabeba nikasema mimi nitabeba pesa sasa hizo kijana wako alikuwa wapi walikuwa na yeye kwa gari wakagawana pesa yenye walikuwa naye hapo kwa gari sasa ikifika saa moja nikiwa liver road kwa gari ya Mwambasa ndio kijana ananiambia madhe solo amenipeleka wapi kwa shahidi huko mlimani solo nani huyo sasa huyo kijana huyo huyo kijana huyo sio shahidi Oh, huyo shahidi mm. amempeleka. Yeye mwenyewe ameniita na simu na amenipeleka shahidi polisi nini Mlimani. Mlimani. Ah. Sasa sijui kama hii ndio nimepewa ya masanduku mimi sijui. Na ume, umeongea na kijana wako tena? Nimeongea na yeye nikiwa natoka Mwambasa kama tuka hapa kwa mlango nikamwambia niko kwa gari sikusiki. Alikuwa anasema nini? 
akaniambia aliwampelekea chai baada ya kwa mlimani nani ampelekea chai kijana wao mwingine ampelekea chai ndugu yake eh na sasa simu zangu zote zimesima okay sasa tunafanya hivi mm. hii fedha mm. tutahakikisha kwamba iko salama mm-hmm. na ni yako mm-hmm. naelewa mm. mimi nitahakikisha iko salama na ni yako amen ufuatilie mtoto wako mpaka ujue mali yako mali yako mm-hmm. na mali yamewekwa mm-hmm. baadaye ukiulizwa swali lolote usijibu kitu cha uongo jibu kile ambacho uliambiwa na kijana wako na au masiaidi sababu maisha so ladies and gentlemen what do you think have you understood the story of the woman and if truly at the first time she said the money was 10 million kenya shillings immediately it was changed to kenya shillings because initially she said it was in dollar at that time it was going to be changed this woman was in that vehicle you want to tell me she doesn't understand what to say well that people can under, understand uh, of course a story because at the same time Hassan atujui amekuwa abducted ama ampelekwa wapi ama ni biashara wanafanya pamoja na hiki jana yake ama hii pesa ilitoka wapi that is the question we are asking or rather i'm asking maybe umeelewa you can give your opinion at the comment section below otherwise thank you so much Because of your great support, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video.